Well, thanks, Ben. Cold weather seems to be the big story now here in central Georgia, not only here, but actually all across the United States. And because of how much cold weather we're seeing, you may have heard a term being thrown around, the polar vortex. Now, that seems maybe like a flashy, maybe even a little bit scary to some term. So even though it is driving some of the colder weather across the U.S., it's not quite as scary as it seems. And we're going to break it down on this week's Weather IQ. Now, if you've never heard of the polar vortex, it actually has a lot to do with a term that you probably have heard before, which is the jet stream. Now, the jet stream is a ribbon of fast moving air that's found in the upper atmosphere. And similar to the jet stream, the polar vortex is also found in the upper atmosphere. It's an area of really cool air in the upper atmosphere that's usually sitting right above the poles thanks to the jet stream. Now, usually we have a pretty strong jet stream. It holds that air in place above the poles, but sometimes the jet stream can have wobbling or maybe even some weakening that can cause some of this polar air to move further towards the south, and that can have an influence on the weather in the lower 48. But what exactly does this mean for our weather here in central Georgia, especially this week? Well, the answer may underwhelm you just a bit. It means exactly this. We're talking about below average temperatures. So you saw that on the seven day forecast. We have high temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s, and we do have some cool overnights in the low 20s even. But this is not something that we're not used to seeing here in central Georgia. Certainly nothing record breaking. So hopefully understanding a little bit more about the polar vortex and exactly what it means for our weather here in central Georgia can give you a little bit more of a perspective with what we're dealing with, especially when you're hearing this term thrown around out on social media. You know, that's what we always aim to do here on Weather IQ, leave you with a little bit more knowledge than you came in here with. That's all I've got for you this week. I'm your meteorologist, Ansley Parker.